Yeah, it should be going now. Okay. So, so do I have to press it? No, no, it's fine. This is my poem called Dead Man's Chair. Yeah. In 1702 in West Yorkshire, there was a man named Thomas Busby, a thief, a, a drunkard, a, a, a thief and a drunkard, altogether very nasty. He married a woman called Elizabeth, the daughter of Daniel Audley. Together they ran a counterfeiting scheme, and they had a pretty penny. In a tavern one fateful day, they were arguing over money. Daniel sat in Thomas's favourite chair. It made him angry. So Thomas killed his father-in-law, bludgeoned to death with a hammer. And the next day sat and ate and drank in his chair as if nothing had happened. When the magistrates finally came for him, his chair, he loudly cursed it. Death will come to anyone who sits in my chair. His curse, they all heard it. He was gibbeted at Sand Hutton Crossroads. His body was dipped in tar. Where he was hung, they named the hen Busby Stoop from near and far. In 1874, a chimney sweep fell and died after sitting in that chair. During World War II, two airmen scoffing never came back again. 1967, a motorcyclist died after ignoring the curse. In the 1970s, a cleaning woman, a hitchhiker and worse. Finally, in 1978, after a builder lost his life, the last known victim of the cursed chair, the landlord saw the light. He donated the chair to the first museum where you can see it this day. The Busby Stoop, or the Dead Man's Chair, fight for that over harm's way. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> That's great.